Hello, Basic Five. This is Sir Collins. I'm back to your homes once again, and this is a mass lesson. I remember the lesson is based on the new curriculum, so if you are learning it, it follows in that order. I don't take even any topic or any strand out or even a sub strand out it follows in that order so that's why i always indicate the strand for you to see so remember our first lesson we learned about this strand the number okay the first strand was number the sub strand counting and presentation and cardinality then we look at the indicators and examples one model number quantities up to 1 million using graph sheet and multi-base block and my first lesson <coughs> sorry <coughs> in my first lesson i showed you how to uh, model the numbers with the 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 multi-base blocks right or the multi-base materials so we said multi-base we're using this one and remember if you're using this one it will take you time to to draw distance in your exercise book on your draw test so you have to go with this okay use the square use this rod and use that as a cube okay but still represent it with the same figure as a flat b 100,000 the long or rod being 10,000 and the cube representing 1,000 are we clear so that's what we did in our first lesson this lesson we are going to look at the next step Today is a different thing altogether. Now, our lesson focus always, I always make sure to know what we are doing based on the new syllabus. Our lesson focus here is to write numbers from multi based materials and modeling numbers using the graph word sheet. Very important. Now, we are still holding on to our flat, our long or rod, and the cube, the values that we are using. Now, you see a flat is equal to what or equivalent to. 100,000, long 10,000, cube 1,000. Are we clear? Okay. Now, so if I ask you to write <coughs> the number from this multi base material, but how do you write it? Now, each, how many of the flat do you have there? Three. Okay. You have three flats. So three times, and one flat is equal to what? 1,000. So you uh, add. 100,000 okay 100,000 so 100,000 okay plus uh, how many longs do we have one two three four so the four here times and the long represent 10,000 okay so 10,000 plus how many cubes do we have three as well so three times what I keep represent what 1,000 okay so 1,000 here so what to be your value Okay, how to be of value the final answer before you get a final answer make sure you simplify it okay so this three here times 100,000 will give us what 300,000 okay plus four here times 10,000 will give us what 40,000 somebody will ask me how did I get it when I finish I will explain it I'll break it down for you to understand it now three times 1,000 here will give us 3,000 so the final answer will be what? 343 343 what? Thousand. Okay. Now how did I get it? 343,000. Now this is how it goes. This. I do get a value for this. Now let me break it down for you to see. So this is 100,000. Times 3. Okay, so we have one three times zero zero three times zero zero three times zero zero three times zero here zero three times another zero here zero and three times one three. So what do we have there? Three hundred what thousand. That's what I had here. Okay, now how did I get forty thousand? That's ten thousand. Ten thousand times four i hope you are following i hope you are following so four times zero zero four times zero zero four times zero zero four times zero here zero four times one four so that's what i had here forty 
forty thousand. So that's what I had here. Okay. Ah, this is one thousand times what three. So one thousand times three. This times that will give you zero. This times that zero. This times that zero. That's three. This three times the zero here zero, and three times one here go at three. So I had three thousand. Now let's add it. If we can't add it in this form, let me show you the simplest way to add it. So this is thirty thousand. Use a straight method. If you don't know that the easy method to add straight away, you can use this method as well. It's also accepted. Okay, so 300 times. Make sure you break the zeros down in order to get the position of each zero and number. So that's 300,000. Now, you are going to add a 40,000. Okay, so you start a zero from here. This one, two, three. That's the first three zeros. Then zero. This one here. Then four. Are you get I hope, I hope you are getting it. Just follow me. Now, this 3,000. Let's write the first three zeros here. One, two, three. Then the three will come under this one. So I finish. You add all. So you have zero, zero here. All three zeros, zero here. All three zeros, zero. Zero plus zero, zero plus three will give us what? Three. Okay. Zero plus four will give us what? Four. Then three. Since there's no number to add, you repeat the three like that. So that's what it was 343,000. Simple as that. I hope it's very easy. Very good. So let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next multi block. So how many do we have here? One, two, three, four. So four times 100,000 plus how many do we have for the long three? Three times 10,000. Plus, how many do you have there to keep? One, two, three, four. Four cubes, okay? So, four times one thousand. Then, we have four hundred thousand. That's four times one, four, four, one hundred thousand gives you four hundred thousand, okay? Plus, three times ten thousand gives you thirty thousand, okay? Sorry. 4 times 1,000 gives you 4,000. So here, our final answer. If you don't know the easy way around, just use the method I showed you. So here, let me try this. I can also give you this simple method as well. Okay, so here, we have... We have how many zeros here? 1, 2, 3. Check the last three numbers. They are all the same zero, so you can write all the three numbers zeros like that now the fourth number the fourth number here is four here is zero the fourth number here is also what zero so zero plus zero plus four be what four okay now the fit this one has no fit number but this one has a fit number which is three this one has a fit number which is zero so zero plus three is what three no seat number so the seat number will come so four hundred and what thirty four thousand we clear very simple as that so here our final answer is four hundred and what four hundred and thirty four thousand very easy now let's take number three here so we have two times one hundred thousand plus I mean one times ten thousand plus two times one thousand so we have 200,000 plus 10,000, come on times, 10,000 is the same number, plus 2,000. So here, our final answer, use the same method I gave you, so my final answer is 212,000. I hope you are getting it. Okay, let's take number 4 here. Number 4, what do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 times how many? What? 100,000. Sorry. 100,000. We also have 6 times 10,000. Then we have another 6 times 1,000 here. Okay. So here we have 500,000. That's just 5 times 100,000. Give you 500,000. Plus 60,000. Plus 6,000. Okay, 
So the final answer will be at five hundred and sixty-six thousand. Right. So let's take the last one here. The last one here we have one of the flat, which is what one times hundred thousand plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight times ten thousand plus one, two, three, four. That's another eight. Eight times one thousand. So here we have one hundred thousand plus eighty thousand plus eight thousand. So what will be our final answer there? Final answer is at one hundred and eighty-eight thousand. Simple as that. Very simple. Very simple. So I'm sure you had it this time. And it's I hope I wasn't rushing. If I was rushing, kindly leave your you know comment in the comment section. If I'm not if, if you understood it better, also leave your comments in the comment section. Now let's take the second this one is the second example in the syllabus. I told you we are going step by step based on the syllabus. So the second example in the syllabus is to ask people to model the number 137,000 shading graph sheet square as shown below. But that wasn't, I'm not indicating that because I'm going to show you how it, to do it. Now where 1 centimeter times 1 centimeter square represents 1,000 units. 1,000 units here is representing a cube. Okay, 1000 represents a cube. So, this is how a cube looks like. This one. One of that. So, this. This here is a cube. So, that's a cube here. Okay, that's a cube. Are we clear? So, that's 1000. So, this one represents 1000. That's 1 centimeter by 1 centimeter. Represented 1000. And this one also represents 1000. 1,000, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000. Okay, so from that 10,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And from that 10,000, down to another 10 here, giving you another 10,000. Okay, so let's count it and see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this square unit this dimension here will give you what hundred thousand weekly so all this one is hundred thousand so if you are indicating a value in this the graph always make sure that you pick the length as one uh, ten thousand and this one is ten thousand give you all what hundred thousand okay so this by that okay so let's take Let's look at the example given in the syllabus. The example given in the syllabus. The first example given in the syllabus is we are indicating this one. So you know I'm going to pick this one, one of this, one of that, one of that. Okay. So here we are not using this one. Let me use my own uh, square. Okay, let me give it a different color. Okay, yellow. So let's take 10. So let's pick it from there. We need one of that so 137,000 so we need one of the flat we need three of the long and we need seven of the cube right so one of the flat so let's draw it so i make sure it's up to 10 so let me count it from my end here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so ten on the end here let me recount it again one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten will end here. Then now I also count down to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there. So that's, that's the first one you see. So we need one of the square. Okay. Now I need three of the long or rod. Okay. So three of that. So also must be in the same height with the flat so first one right second one then third one okay very good then i need seven of the cubes so seven of them 
first one second one third one fourth one fifth one sixth one and the seventh one easy so that's how to indicate the multi-base material or shading it on a graph sheet as simple what as that very 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 simple okay very simple now let's take the next example we are going to look at this one this example 145,000 so 145,000 so I need only one of the flat so let's count it again let's make sure you are right doing the right thing so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so ten by ten okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten by ten is that ten is that one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so ten by ten here ten by ten very good then we need four of the long or road so four of it four there one one two three and four very good now we need five in the cube so five one two three four and five easy isn't it very very easy so as i said always make sure you do do not make any silly mistake when you are doing it so here and here okay or here and here so that's 10 by 10 10 by 10 very simple as that now let's let me take this one then you'll do this one in your daughter you try this one in your daughter so let me take the two when is two so when is two how do you do it that one is another tough one okay so let's go I have a different design for you so this is how i did it when it is two okay so i just okay let me try it here and it is two let me try it here for you to see whether you can do it okay let me use the blue and it is two so let me start from here so it is two one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten there here it's up to 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so first one first one okay let me count it again don't make mistake when you're counting 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so first 10 then here always get another one here so I count make sure you count it properly Count it properly, otherwise you make mistake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is the second ten. Then we need two of the long, two of the long. So two. Two change the color. We need two of the long. So two long. one I need three of the cubes so three of the cubes that's all very simple very very simple isn't it isn't it very simple so folks that's all for today so this is what we do for today remember 
to also go through it if you don't understand go through it several times several times several times you understand very simple i told i told you when i'm teaching i go step by step so definitely you will understand and that's why i take time to teach you guys so if I, i've explained everything for you to understand it all right so get yourself a graph sheet and practice this one at home okay so you can do this one you can add more numbers and do it yourself okay so that will be all for today now i'll see you guys in our third what lesson our third lesson until i see you guys let, let's go through the site once again so you can let's check can check our site on google as well just type this one you find it on google then yes that's the first one first one so when you go there you see that we have basic four lesson mathematics lesson basic two mathematics lesson or you just choose your class if you are, you are in class one choose the math question computer question le math lesson computer lesson coming soon then basic two do the same then basic three do the same then basic four basic five basic six you can also look at our quizzes sector which is also we are adding up the quizzes also very interesting quizzes we have the site map you can visit there and check the number of content we have on the site we have the donations we have the stories check out some of the stories here check out our stories here okay these are some of the stories we have there a lot of stories there we have stories here see camera is what song click here to read so wherever you find a story see more loading soon so these are international stories these are local world stories are we clear international stories and local world stories okay so guys if you're a parent and are watching us kindly join our whatsapp group here okay and also follow us on youtube as well you can also follow us on what facebook okay sooner or later we add more content to the facebook content as well so here please the donation part button is very important when you go there you can donate okay you can donate using the mtn or vodafone and if you don't have if you're also a crypto fund like cryptocurrency which is like bitcoin bitcoin cash litecoin you can also donate to us here and the addresses are there you can donate to us okay just copy the address and send any amount there you know, crypto you can send us hundred dollars of crypto you can send us 200 dollars of crypto we really appreciate that okay if you have bitcoin if you have more bitcoin you can send us like 200 dollars we have we really appreciate that if you're in ghana you can also send us some more of your money you can help us employ more people to come and take science also we are planning to add science but you know ghana you have to not in ghana as such but if you want to employ somebody to take that course you need money and here we don't make much money here Okay, I'm the one only working out, so please try and donate so that you can employ more people to come and teach you guys. And we put it online so that you come and view it for free. Okay, me the word free hasn't be that's always be part of me. I just want to keep on, but also since you are enjoying free content, you must also know that it costs us to do this free content, so you must also need to help us to give you out free chances okay free of things okay god bless you I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to your donations okay yeah you there you watching me i'm looking forward to your donations god bless you bye i'll see you once again see you guys in our third lesson